Okay, here's the parts we're going to be using. First, we're going to need. It's all laundry. Laundry. First, we're going to be needing. All right, parts list. Forty-six. Five millimeter LEDs. Your choice of color. Uh, I bought these on eBay. Before I put this instructable up, I will have an exact link for the source because these do fit perfectly into the light bright. So, but these are five millimeter, so any five millimeter should fit. But uh, 46 of these. These are green, by the way. Uh, Okay, and then along with those LEDs, we're going to need, we're doing the common, common cathode configuration. We're going to need, what did I say, oh, 12, 14, call it 14, 100 ohm resistors. And these are just standard through hole uh, quarter watt resistors. Those are super cheap. Uh, we're going to need some kind of sandpaper. This is 320, a block of 320 grit. And the reason I'm using this is because these LEDs are clear. And whenever clear LEDs are in close proximity to each other, they tend to kind of light each other up a little bit. And what we want to do is we want the glow to stay like on the LED itself. So we're going to diffuse the outside with a little light sanding from the sandpaper. So you don't have to use a sand block. I did just because I thought it'd be easier. But uh, or you can either buy the, your LEDs already diffuse, so you can have a diffuse glow, or you can get some uh, real fine sandpaper and do it yourself. But this is a 320 grit sanding block. Okay. Uh, my Arduino Uno is currently in use. I have another one somewhere else, but this is a Mega. You do not need a Mega. We're going to call this an Arduino Uno, even though it's not. So this, these are the two uh, momentary push buttons. You don't want the kind that are like press them and they stay on or off. You don't want the you know they click on off switch. You just want a momentary push. Uh, so two of those, and then to go along with those, we're also going to have two. These are 2.2 kilo ohm quarter watt resistors. So those are going to be some, uh, those are the pull-up resistors for the switches. And I don't know for sure that that resistance level is going to work. I'm going to try it. If I do change it, I'll change it in the instructable at the beginning before you get started. Uh, battery pack with the, uh, I kind of hacked this up. That There is, it looks like bare wire, but there is shrink tubing on there. Uh, there's a 9 volt battery and holder and this holder plugs into the uh, Arduino. Now like didn't that. you solder that onto the battery? I did. Well, uh, not on this one. Oh, okay. I just hacked up a I hacked up a old uh, is from a toy or something. Oh, okay. And then this side is from another Arduino power supply thing. So, uh, but you I'm using 9 volt. You can use you know, double A's or whatever. But just something, uh, we'll just call this external power for Arduino because you're not going to be able to plug into the computer. It's gonna, this is going to be inside of the light bright. Okay, this is, uh, since I'm writing all this down elsewhere, I'll scratch this part out. I'm not going to write it twice. Yeah. I'll give them a little view on it. This is 22 gauge hookup wire 
spool and I don't even know how much or we're going to use I not, might not use any but uh, you should always have that around anyway and in addition to these things you need to have your standard shop tools pan over there I've got a helping hands uh, soldering iron uh, strippers needle nose cutters uh, solder don't forget your solder Yes, you must have that. Yeah, I think that's pretty close. I'm probably going to have to use a drill at some point to put these uh, push buttons in. But other than that, that should be about it. Ah, one more thing we need. We need a light. Bright. That's the start of the show. Yep. Can't forget that. Hey, where'd you put it? it oh, is there we here. go. There we go. And my cameraman doesn't know, but this is actually hers. She's 10 now, but this is hers from when she was probably about three or four years old. And my current three three year old plays with it. And we're gonna steal it. Yay! And I'm gonna get her a new one. But this uh thing is kinda old anyway, so. And it still works. Yeah. I don't I guess. I'm having I'm not sure. I think we're gonna go ahead and leave the the guts in there. I think we're gonna have plenty of room in there to leave the light. Yeah, probably. And We'll see. One thing, you see this area right here, a lot of people don't have it, but uh, I think for this project we're going to need to go ahead and put the black paper down. It'll look a lot better. Yeah. yeah. I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what happened to the original black paper. It but doesn't matter. Probably got You probably used it all when you were little. But this is uh, these are all the parts we're going to need right here. Let's end it here.